Hello, welcome to Let's Play Quickly Renowned Explorers. <coughs> Excuse me. In all likelihood, I'm going to lose this expedition. We'll see. Sometimes you find extraordinary things in ordinary places. When browsing a bazaar, the crew finds a neat little souvenir shop. However, some of the items on display are worth a serious sum of money. Inform the nice vendor and make a good profit together. You make a profit and leave the bazaar. Okay, that's going to be nothing. Nothing special has been found here. We have an ar we have a really good archaeologist, actually. The crew stumbles upon a fairly new temple. Amelia notices that some stonework looks different, perhaps older. A priest convinces perceives the group's interest and approaches them. I'm sorry, but we are not yet ready to welcome pilgrims. I'm terrible accent. You have. Where are you getting 33% speech power? Because you're a vampire. Okay, this is not likely to do a thing. Hey, vampire for the win! Kiwi convinced the priest to let them inspect the stonework. Let's take a closer look. The closer look reveals a pattern. The stone used to be a statue. With little effort, someone might be able to re restore it. Here you go, Amelia. That's not good. Amelia removes the old stonework, but some pieces were broken and the statue could not be reassembled. To make matters worse, the temple walls aren't looking so great. Get out now! The priest shouts some very unwholesome things at them as they leave. Not quite a befitting a holy man. Amelia thinks she knows where the cryptic text from the Shady Antiquity Dealer points to. It's London! Think about it! The mountain refers to Rivalu's ego, and the Canyon of the Crescent Moon is the snooker bar downtown! Well, that idea is so ridiculous that Amelia eats some of the supplies out of shame. Amelia only wanted to help. You'll probably need just a bit more time to figure out where the cryptic text leads. We're going to go to here because that gives us some uh, survivalists. Some, because our survivalist gives us some supplies. The desert is hot, yet there's still some plants growing around a natural basin. All what remains of what used to be a great lake is dirt and mud. The crew looks around to see if it finds something of interest. Oh, we can get supplies there. I forgot to start a, a, a timer, so I'm going to do it now, which means this one's going to be probably 15 minutes or so. Not much of here except some semi-precious stones. Because we have a level 3 naturalist, we got more supplies. That's important. After their short little search, the crew continues the exploration. Somehow Amelia feels there used to be something fantastic here. There's... I'm going to do go this way, and then up this way. Here he finds an old Arab trade route. Following it for a while, you find a set of Arabic ceramics. It takes you a while to write a tale of Lonely Camel Rider. Oh dear, we're out of... A group of locals runs towards you in a panic. A very mean lady just passed by. She tortured us with great Italian insults and tried to tell something about a crescent moon and your holy grail. Help us, please. That sounds like Florentina Evangel, and don't worry, we'll get her. Thank you very much. Please take this gold to aid in your quest against that hag. She looked pretty hot, though. The torture wasn't so bad, either. Leave it to us, citizens. Wait a minute. Amelia knows where this cranny of the crescent moon might be. After extensive re searching documents on the region while exploring, Amelia found an ancient site called the Forgotten Treasury. Its existence is unclear, but it is said to be a curved canyon, not unlike a crescent moon. Hmm. Are we... We are right there. That's lucky. This is it. The Kiwi and the crew know where... We'll find nothing less than the Holy Grail. With great courage, crew presses on. You're out of supplies. Rhea's defenses are faltering. Okay.
These are always really tough fights. This must be it. The hidden treasury of the canyon, the crescent moon. Whatever happens next will be the epic conclusion of your exploring career. Are you ready to go on? Yes. Crew enters the marvelous building. The air is thick with adventure. Amelia is a little bit scared to go inside, fearing some divine punishment. Well, you are bringing a vamp. Your captain is a vampire. The crew helps her find courage, though. What if the Holy Grail falls into the hands of Florentina and the anti-explorers? Inside the Forgotten Treasury, their first trail awaits. The only passage forward is heavily trapped. The hall is riddled with skeletons of unfortunate souls. We'll have to pass the trip traps in a quick fashion. We have quick thinkers. We only have a level one quick thinkers. We don't have any level threes. I think she's level two, but still, it's not level three. <coughs> and only a one scout. Bravely face the traps. Oh. Oh, Drat. Amelia looked the wrong way at the wrong time. If it triggers a vicious trap, everyone still manages to get to the other side, but not without being severely crippled. Ouch. After passing the traps, could have used a different word. After passing the traps, the crew continues to explore deeper into the cavern. Amelia is getting pretty anxious. What's next? A massive gate stands in front of you. The whole area feels like a sanctuary above the gate as an ancient text reads, Only the light of the brightest star will open the way to the Lord. Amelia ponders on what it means, but luckily the gate is already open. The next area is dark and completely silent. The crew tiptoes through the darkness when suddenly... The crew is surrounded by anti-explorers. Their leader, Florentino Magellan, has got you completely cornered. Bellissimo! It seems that Mie, renowned explorers Pref Preferetti, have walked right into my trap. We needed a pure adventurous souls to go to the next room and get something for us. Florentino looks angry, but only after showing a sliver of delight. Unshaken, she continues. It matters not. We need someone with honest adventuring. I forgot. I did not read what it was. What the answer was. Adventuring hot to bypass the guardian of Holy Grail. I would not like to. I'll read it later when I look at the video. I would not like to risk my beautiful self. So you can go get it for us. Ha ha ha! She pushes you forward into a dark, stale room. Oh no! You're left with no choice. The room you're entering is dark and must musky. It smells like an old tomb with a heavy air of Deus Volt. And there it is, the Holy Grail. Who dares disturb this holy place? Suddenly a deep voice thunders. Who's there? The impressive body of a large crusader stands before you. I'm Richard Lionheart, staunch defender of the Holy Grail. I'm chosen by God himself to judge upon the souls who enter this tomb. Must be a pretty boring job. This guy looks tougher than Ivan. I will give you one chance to show me you are worthy. Fail, and I will curse you with the authority of the Lord himself. Time to pull out the best diplomacy in human history. We have no diplomats. Vampire for the win? Vampire for the win! Amazing! Kiwi delivers a once-in-a-lifetime speech. She had a dream where you will fight them on the beaches and tear down that wall, Mr. Lionheart. We but mirror the world. Truly you possess the spirit of the future. The Lord wishes to bestow his grace upon you. The, the Holy Grail. But as soon as you take this magnificent treasure, the whole place starts shaking. Oh no, not again. Always the same when you take a treasure in a cave. The cave is collapsing. What a classic. Never gets old. Let's get out of here. In the room where the anti-explorers were waiting for you, panic has broken out. Wolves, what have you done? Hand me over the Holy Grail. You shall perish by my hand. Presto! Opponents like to target those who damage their spirit the most, but will make for a crew member who is healing a lot. That's good to know. We only have the one healer. We need to defeat the boss. Kim Vitel will quickly match your attitude, but her actions won't fit her attitude. If she's in the same attitude for long, she'll become stronger. That is unfortunate. Okay. No, that is actually very good. Whoever of his dance, it leaves you impressed. Male. That is... <laughs> keeping it cool. 
Good. Uh huh. You fumbled. Oh, I should have done the... You have a big gun. I don't think we're gonna win, just as a note. We don't have much resolve. You're ready to try to impress her, aren't you? You fumbled. Good. There are cats! Oh dear, there's more belly dancers. Okay. Yes. Okay. Going to die. Tense. <laughs> the cat summoned a thing. Oh no, who died? Who went down? Maria is very confused about it all. Oh dear. You're going down too. Oh good, you survived. But we have no healing. You're the only one that can get to Maria. Violence is probably better against you than uh, what I have. We're all going to go down, I think, this round. <clears throat> In turn, I think this is the end. It was a good run. <laughs> I very rarely, uh, even on easy mode, finish a star a rank of five star thing first time out. So I probably should have tried the Shangri La or something else I've done before. I think it's been so long since I played, I probably would have failed at anything. 
We are out. Whole crew is down. We could retry the encounter. I think I might. And I'll see you in another video.